gorgeous. Five butterflies, and butterflies are always so amazing in the way that they move through the air. Mm -hmm. When you just say it's that, true. right? They just flutter. the flitting and the fluttering. Mm -hmm. This is a customer top rated item that we have at a pre-season sale price. So you're looking at a piece of wall art that you might look at it and immediately go, wow, that's going to set me back, you know, 30, 40, 50 dollars. No, we're at 22 dollars and 68 wow. cents and two easy payments of 1134. Now, before I go one step further, I'm just going to whip out the handy dandy cue card and say, if you want to use your cue card, put this on six easy payments. That's just a little Boop, boop, boop. Um, privilege you have of shopping with the cue card. Nice. This is my expert though, Nancy Brand Mueller, and she Hello. brings to us Plow and Hearth. Yes. And if you're just tuning in, because this is an hour of Plow and Hearth, who are they and, and why have they become so beloved? Well, you know, Plow and Hearth is a company that brings you really unique and beautiful items that very often they create. They have in-house designers that are bringing you items to help bring joy to your garden, add distinction to your home, help create memories, and help you express yourself. I always say that being in your garden should be joyful. You should put things out in your yard that make you smile. And this is something that can be used either outside on your she shed, on your back patio, over your you know doorway, or you can use it inside as well. So I love that this has all that beautiful elements of sculpture. You can see they're three-dimensional. There it is on our door. I mm -hmm. love it as almost like a, a substitute for a wreath, mm -hmm. but we have really great choices. Yeah, that, uh, that of course, you're seeing butterfly. on the door, the butterflies. Go ahead, what's that one? Oh, that's okay. Here's our birds. I'm a real wow. bird fan, mm -hmm. so I love these. You've got darling birds sitting on a branch. They all have that watercolor kind of finish to them. As you look closely, you'll sort of see that they look like they've been watercolored. And then we have our flower design. Wow, and in terms of length, they're all going to be um, about 14 or so inches wide is what we're looking at, and they are dynamic in that they are not flat. They have a curved edges, so if you held them up, you would see that the petals jet up from one another and that the wings jet out from another one. So the butterfly, by the way, is about 14 inches wide. The flower art, I'm sorry, this is, they're saying this is about 30 inches wide. And then in terms of the... I think um, the butterfly is the longest one. It was about 36, I think. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, it's, I would it's think a little so bit too. longer because okay. there's one more butterfly. Mm -hmm. um, so it has really great dimension to them. You'll see that the metal is not just flat, um, we can look here on the butterfly. You can see I'm putting my finger behind this one because it's got layers of the metal. You've also, you can see on the red one really, really well that there's sort of this watercolor kind of tech, not texture, um, appearance to them. So I love too that there's five butterflies, sort of like they're they're flying and a, a group of butterflies is called a charm of mm. butterflies. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. And then if we look at our birds, oh, they're so beautiful. These are kind of... Um, like real crisp, clear colors. And so our birds right here, we've got a blue one, we've got a red bird, a, a, a yellow one that's maybe like a goldfinch, and you've got a little beautiful green bird, kind of looks like your winter goldfinches. They're mm -hmm. a little more green. And then I love com uh, having them kind of in a pair. Me too. Either the butterfly in a flower or the bird in a flower. You know, well, the way this is done, it's almost like very, very glossy race car paint, but done in a way that there are highs and lows. Yes. So, you know, if you were looking at your favorite race car that has that gloss level, but they're not all the same. It does have, the, it's, it's like they've somehow watercolored that great paint. And yeah. you're looking right now at the red, but look at the blue. And this is this lovely kind of an ocean blue. Makes me think of the Caribbean. Yes. Makes me think of gorgeous blue that way and the petals stand up so one layer two layers three layers so you'll get that feeling of dynamics so the blue and then the red and then this lovely mustardy color that is really cool yep. and with the center being you know a lovely dark brown and then a green and then we go finally to a little bit of an orange so you know and and done in odds like this is five the bird four and then the butterflies five again right and just real quickly mm -hmm. i'll show you with the flowers right here how you're going to put it up on your wall so there's uh keyholes on the back of each one of them so you're just going to put you know either uh probably a nail just on um you know each one of these locations there. I'll turn it around and lay it flat so you can see what Rachel was talking about, all the layers of metal here. So that's not just flat. See all of that? You've got all these multiple layers the of metal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, beautifully done. And then our butterflies back here, I love that we have this, you know, you could have them straight as we've done with our birds and our flowers, but I like kind of putting things a little um, cattywampus, mm -hmm. as I say, mm -hmm. you know, just a little bit sideways. What a great substitute for a wreath on your door. On your door or just generally, it's called wall art. The butterflies are flying. 
not no pun intended, I want to let you know that take advantage of the two easy payments of $11.34 and have fun with this. When we say it's customer top rated, there are over 65 five-star reviews. So you can go online and see what people are saying. I'm not sure whether or not we can get a couple of those reviewed pull, reviews pulled up, but you can go online and see what folks are saying about this when they get it home. It says indoor and outdoor use, so yes. I'll ask Nancy about that. We'll talk a little bit more about that, but you can see some people have put it in the brickwork on their house, in the, on the front door. I love your idea of over a kitchen sink. Yes. You know, um, in those areas. I know that when I walk into my house, right in the back door, there's a big, huge wall you know, as I'm going into the kitchen where there isn't anything yet, yes. but that would be perfect. And you can put them horizontally or the way that the butterflies are diagonally, yeah, yeah. diagonally or vertically, however it fills your space in kind of a touching way. Right. And I like the fact that this is something that's kind of narrow and long this mm -hmm. way. Not many decorations are. And, um, you know, I have actually put these above my kitchen cabinets. Mm -hmm. I also like it, like you said, above like maybe the kitchen sink. You have that narrow space, maybe um, like we talked about the she shed, anything else side maybe even on a fence line it would be really pretty put a number of the butterflies so you have a whole bunch of butterflies mm -hmm. flying on your back uh, f you know fence these are fine to leave outside the other thing that they're nice for is you could use it inside in a bathroom because we know they're fine in the rain they'd be fine in the snow so they'd be fine in the steam of a bathroom as well so no matter where you choose to put it you get those beautiful watercolors gorgeous uh, design of the metal that Plow and Hearth is so great at. I love their metal work. Whenever I see their metal pieces, I go nuts over them. I love so. what people are saying. I know that they will look great on my house because they are so pretty. Yes. That was one of the reviews. And you can honestly go and cycle through the reviews. I know that honestly, the people who are getting these home go, oh my gosh, now I know exactly where I'm going to put it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like exactly. you, you get it the minute you get it home. If this appeals to your spirit or to your heart, uh, this is too beautiful to place outside. I'm going to place on my wall in the kitchen. That's Love what one it. person said, right? Like, I want to see it a lot. How about large, beautiful wall decor? Wish I had ordered another for a gift. Terrific indoors or outside. Here's the other thing, right, is that this is $22.68. It's basically your $20 bill alert. So for, as somebody was saying, as a gift, for mother, idea. daughter, sister, mm -hmm. niece, auntie. And even though we're showing it to you outside and we say plow and hearth is kind of like your outdoor oasis, this is inside. Like, my niece would love it in her bedroom. She yes. loved the butterflies and the birds and the flowers, all three, actually. Yes. So instead of that weird poster that you're putting up mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever it is, the calendar, another calendar that might be whatever, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, add this to it. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I and love that. The item number here is going to be um, 52322. Just let us know which one you want, or multiples would be my recommendation. The butterfly, the flowers, or the birds. And I know that we were listening to the trend report that birds are so big. And we've got birds in the show in all sorts of different ways, which I totally love. And 